This September, Germany's streets are lined with election posters. Big, colourful attention grabbers, many of them portraits of candidates, especially of the ones running for Chancellor. Angela Merkel for the Christian Democrats and her challenger Martin Schulz for the Social Democrats. Someone takes those pictures, someone like Mark Dachinger, press photographer for 33 years. His beat is Berlin's government quarter. His most frequent subjects are politicians from every party. It's fun because it's always something different and because I get to see lots of things I wouldn't see otherwise. You know, I get to poke my nose into places normally off limits. Admittance here is restricted. Only accredited reporters and photographers are allowed in to see Chancellor Angela Merkel in the Federal Press Conference building. Mark Darkinger is a regular here in the front rows. Ideally, the relationship between politicians and photographers is close, but not too close. One needs good photos, the other needs publicity. In a democracy, a politician needs the feedback from the political public and the broader public too. That's why they face the public, and they use all the channels available to achieve it. Dachinger has been a press photographer in Germany since 1984, first in Bonn, West Germany, then in Berlin after reunification. He's seen politicians arrive, rise high, and depart again, taking pictures the whole time. Private photos are rare, and politicians give their public appearances the desired spin. There are shots where they jump right into the camera with both fists. And then others where they appeal indirectly to the voters or look more to the future. It hasn't always been the case that politicians knew to look right and left or up and down, to vary the angle a little. Mark gives Euromax his take on this year's crop of election posters for the top candidates. This is a shot that I really quite like, because the Chancellor obviously trusts the photographer who took it. What Martin Schulz is showing us is that he's a likeable guy and probably somebody who's up for a bit of fun now and then. No matter which parties emerge as the winners of the national election on September the 24th, Mark Dachinger will be there to photograph them and any others he gets in front of his lens.